Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome to another LSPDF episode. Yo, this guy looks so mad. <laughs> well, yeah, it's about that time that we bring back the Impala. Like, I, you know what? Does any department still use this Impala over here? I mean, I've seen NYPD. That's probably the only department I see that's um, using it. Probably some unmarked NYPD and stuff like that. But do they still use? Are they bringing any new Impalas or anything like that? You guys, let me know, man. Right now, we're gonna start with this episode, partner. Come on, man. Let's put ourselves available. Dispatch, show me 10 8. Now, there's a lot of you guys that wanted to um, try this. Uh, oh, we got a red light. We'll, we'll talk in a minute, guys. Which way are they going? Are they coming my way? Wait, which way? I'm, I'm waiting. I'm waiting to see which way they're going. Okay, they're going that way. You just hit an illegal U turn, man. Right? Come on. All right, they coming my way. You know, you messed up. Oh, shoot. Okay. Okay, I see. I see what you're doing. He stopped after he saw me, though. Come on, buddy. Pull over. Is he pulling over? I don't think he is. He's actually pulling over. I didn't want to stop him that way, but it is what it is. Uh, run his plate, partner. You know, way beside suspect vehicle. For my own safety, I would have gone the other side, but you know what? Traffic gonna have to stop and wait for us. That's how I was going on with this guy. Hey. Hello, how you doing, sir? Now, any reason why you're driving like that, man? I can tell you're a little nervous right now. Now, can I see a license and proof of insurance, please? Hey, you, you got your ID? All right, thank you. Now, do you know why I'm pulling you over? All right. Not only failure to stop, but you ran, you ran a bunch. You, you've been running red light. That's why somebody called 911 on you. My house isn't that. F it doesn't matter, man. It doesn't matter right now. Do you hear me? Now, have you been drinking, man? Has some shadow come up. Oh, oh no, you're not good now. You know what? Oh man, now we gotta go through this now. We're just gonna breathalyze him a quick away. I was gonna get him to step out the vehicle and walk in a straight line for me, but we'll deal with that for now. Nope, he's not drunk. Drugalizer, just in case. So most likely, I might just give him a citation. Now, guys, um, you guys probably realize that I've been avoiding using the computer in the car is because I've been having a crash lately where I can't figure out what's causing it. I don't know if it's one of the new mods that I'm using. Um, let me see running a red light. All right. I only caught him running one red light so far. That's two only two points. Okay. And a hundred out. Yeah, so I can't find what's causing that. Um, if you guys have that issue, definitely um comment under this video too. Let me know. But other than that, and until I fix it, I'm gonna avoid using the computer in the car. But you know what? Hey, certain traffic stop, I might just you know go back there, sit down, run plates and stuff like that. But we should be good. All right, dispatch. Show me code four on that last call. Citizens report a roadway block on Wild Oats Drive. Okay, let's take it. I got hit with that traffic on Cowboy last night. I was 10-10, but I used my toy siren and cruised right through. <laughs> Damn. Yo, this dude. Uh, all right, so they what is blocking this road anyway? Probably somebody crash. I'm not even sure. I didn't even get a chance to read the whole thing. But let me know how you guys feel about this Impala, man. I feel like they, they haven't been using it in a while, like but probably airport and NYPD. That's the only two places that I've seen it. But other than that, it's it's gone. 
Alright, what's blocking the way? What the... Yes, I want to delete, move all these objects out of the way. I think somebody got kicked out. Press delete. Please wait 10 seconds for the object to move out of the road. Okay. You guys going to have to wait. You guys just going to have to wait. Okay, week. there you go. The girl called 911 because she was mad at her boyfriend. What? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Those happens. <laughs> Wow. Actually, um we went to this um me and a couple of friends were we'll going to this bar or whatever. By the time we got there, um we find out that this uh, they call 911. Whoa, okay, dude. I guess he made the wrong turn. Let's let's find out if this dude's okay. And he's riding that without no helmet. Yeah, so by the time we got there, I guess this his girl find out that he was um, at a bar with another girl or whatever and slash his tires slash all four of his tires, man. I, w I felt so bad for that dude and he got down one for her. I don't know if it was his ex or his actual girl or maybe he a girl that he left, but damn. Four, two, George, Charles, Henry, six, three, seven, a warrant issued. Okay, Proceed with he's caution. under arrest. All right, partner, hold him at gunpoint, man. There you go. We're going to do the damn thing. <laughs> All right, dude, get off the bike, put your hands up and get on the ground and kiss the snow. Stop. Come on, police. Come on, come on. Give it a little kiss. Just a little kiss. That's all. Dispatch to any available central unit. We have oh, a we gotta, on oh, shoot. A Mad Wayne Fender Drive. Hell yeah. Can I get a transport? Because I'm I'm definitely going to that robbery. Um, dispatch. Can I get a transport to my location, please? Assistance required for a suspect placed under arrest in West Vinewood. They right there. Come on, man, hurry up. We got a robbery going on right now. We get a tow truck for this. They're gonna have to search them, guys. Um, just trying to do this thing in a hurry. Where's this robbery anyway? Okay, not that far. Gonna haul oh, last over there right now. Let's go, let's go, partner. Partner, get back, get back in the vehicle. Oh, the tow truck already picked that up too. Why would they have me go like GPS sometime, man? By the way, what type of GPS do you guys use? I use Waze. Waze help you out with everything. I don't know why they haven't like implement Waze in vehicles now. I think they should. Like instead of you using your phone, like they should. Um, they should definitely sign a contract with GPS, but I don't I don't know why they wouldn't allow that though. <laughs> but Waze is on the come up, man. I was thinking about making an app like that because I was like, yo, when, when me and my friends are riding, we either have a walkie, one of those walkie talkie or we will have um, we will just like stay on the phone and stuff like that. So we'll let each other know what's going on up front. Cause you know, there's always that one person that fall behind, but ways kind of help out because it, it could be like a complete stranger that just help you I out. Like, yo, there's a cop up call. front, She's bro. Slow it down. <laughs> I told her I may need to question her again. No shit. Word. All right, turn off all lights. I know they probably heard the sound. Oh, is that barber shop? Dude, that barber shop always out of luck, man. Come on, partner. That barber shop is always. I'm not gonna wait for backup since I have my partner with me. I see a lady running. I see a lady running. Not sure what's going on right now. Yo, move, move, lady, move, move. Get out the way. Oh, there's a lady running with a gun. There's a lady running in the store, back and forth with a gun. I don't know what to expect right now. So, put your hands up. Put your. Oh shoot. Yo, she's just not. I'm going in. I'm going in. Put your hands up, man. Put your hands up. Put your hands up. Drop that gun. Whatever the hell you're doing. All right, robbery going wrong, I guess. Did you just come back and trying to like hurt your boss? I feel like that's what happened here. It might not be a robbery. Joe Gray. <laughs> Any other weapons on you, ma'am? Anything that can stab me, poke me, anything like that? Just a regular day. Oh, I forgot to tell my partner to back me. Like, if I don't click this button right here. My partner won't help me out. 
You see, he would just stand there like, okay, I'm good. All right, we got her. We're going to take care of ourselves, man. Um, why are you sitting in the passenger seat? I need you to do the paperwork, man. <laughs> I think I will let my partner do the paperwork. And behave. Closest station is right down the block. Let me see what which closest station would it give me. Oh, okay, I was about to say I thought it was going to give me another station. But anyway, let's hit this U-turn. And let's bring the suspect to the station. Now, let me know if you guys want me to keep going with the snow. I've been enjoying the snow so far. Now, I wanted to take a drive to New York before like it get like snow before it starts snowing like almost every day. But I don't know if that's going to be possible. I'm just trying to take this light. Thank you. Thank you, people. Yeah, so I was thinking about doing that, but maybe we'll see. We'll see. I, it depends on how I feel because person with a knife. Del Perro freeway. Let us know when you need back. Oh shoot! Okay, okay, okay. Let me let me just drop this lady off. I don't think any officers will pick up calls like that anyway. Um, you on you bringing somebody back? Like you shouldn't be picking up no no other calls. So we just brought her back, um, but we already picked up that car though. <laughs> Let's head over that code three. Person with a knife. I think this might be part of um, that new call out that I just installed. Now I always try to like mix the call outs and stuff like that, guys. So I could you know have a fun episode, but at the end of the day, I like the fact that I have no idea which call is gonna come in first, which kind of like. You know what? As an off, as an officer, the uh, the officer have no idea what type of day he's gonna have. So I feel like this this is like a good experience. It minus minus the you know, there's no there's nothing crazy. Oh, this this is not happening in real life. Okay, we got a dude walking on the highway. I think we're gonna stop right here. Ah, uh, he's running. He's running. Oh shoot, partner, don't shoot him yet. If he attack you now. All right, my partner is just shooting. Now, it depends on how close I get to him. If he decides to attack me, I, I can actually open fire. All right, put your hands up, man. Put your hands up. Drop that knife. There you go. Get on the ground. Get on the ground. All right, I got the knife. I just, I was just wanted to make sure I get the knife. Now get on the ground. I don't need backup. My partner was walling out though for shooting on the highway like that. My partner just standing there like right in front of the vehicles. Any other weapons on you, buddy? Oh, damn. And a handgun. All right. So you see that? I'm happy I kept my gun because he could have just pulled out his gun at any time and just shoot me. So we're going to try to back up on the highway right now. Wait, don't tell me backup is coming here. Okay. So it's always funny. Like, I think, you know what? I'm, we're definitely going to have to um, get a studio or something like that. Ah, uh, come on. There you go. All right, come on. <laughs> Yo, nobody's letting my partner in right now. All right, come on, hurry up, man. All right, so we're just gonna back up over here. Trespassing. Uh, no, that's uh, that's all the way on the opposite side. Um, dispatch, show me unavailable right now. I gotta bring this person back. Does this spotlight work? Yes, it does. Wow. This will be a nice car for um night shift. Ah, uh, come on, man. There's people that. Oh, come on. You know what? I'm just taking this. I was gonna back up, but. God, I almost hit that lady. I almost did too. What thing? Let's try to hurry up and get to the station. Uh, that's one of the main reasons why I always avoid <laughs> bringing the person back. I know I can't run code two, code three, back to the station while I'm bringing somebody back, unless it's somebody like extremely important or it was it was something crazy. But other than that, we are here. Let's drop them off and then we're going to put ourselves available again. Now, sorry, I didn't get a chance to drop any LSPFO. I had to reinstall almost 
everything, man. Now, um, I'm not sure why my video card were, were bottlenecking, but it's been is, you know, I'm finally overclocking my 1080 TS because I was like, yo, it's really hard to find some 1080 TS right now. But with the amount of mods that I'm using, I have to overclock it. So th that's why the game is even running smooth right now too. Overclocking your uh, your um GPU, of course, my memory clock and um all those. It's I, I don't know. It's a it, it's it's good and bad at the same time. It's good because I'm getting the best, and then I'm overclocking the um what you call it. I'm using the maximum power for this video card. Oh, dispatch, show me available. Now I feel like I'm always telling you guys, you know, the stuff that I do that makes this work because this is not easy. This is not easy at all. Some some of you guys when it comes to like, oh, if you plan yourself, you don't have to record. Yeah. But when when you have to depend on quality and making sure that you drop in some good videos for you guys, of course, you have to make sure that you, you know, everything is on point. You guys already know, man, I'm picky. I am extremely picky when it comes to like you know, even from computer technology, stuff like that. <laughs> it's just me, man. It's just me. That's just the way I roll. A stolen truck. I haven't pressed Z in a while like that. All right, there you go. All right, they're not that far from us. We're going to try to head to that location, guys, and hopefully we're going to be able to stop the truck. By now, I know most of the roads, but the only thing is that I, I <laughs> there's a lot of roads that I don't remember the name, which is also the main reason why I never play multiplayer like that. I'm like, oh my god, now I gotta, I gotta get to know all these roads, even though I patrol them almost every day. Are they on the move? They are on the move. I thought it was stationary. All right, I'm gonna get them though. Oh shoot, got on the sidewalk. You guys didn't see that? That was so unprofessional. We get down to that block, and we just gonna try to like get to them right now. They are moving though. Wow, they went the opposite way now. This is gonna be a nice chase, I guess. Oh, I went too far. I was trying to get on this block. I ended up passing it. I passed right under it, I guess. Now, if that was real life, that's not the way an officer would be running code three, of course. But this is the game, and they make these drivers so fast, guys. So I have to do it that way. But um, that's why I say, oh shoot, oh okay, okay, that just happened. Destroying public property, that just happened. I'm gonna have to talk to my sergeant <laughs> and let him know. Yo, this is crazy. Come on, come on. Now, you know, if a real officer is playing this game, there's no way they're they going to make it, right? There's no way. There's no way. So, I, um, one of my boys that's an officer or whatever, I let him play this. He couldn't, like, he couldn't remember none of the keys, none of that. Okay, we got our truck. Oh, <laughs> yo, that was my player. That was my player. All right, dispatch. Can I get some backup units? Oh, he's making it through. He don't care. Okay. Did he get stuck? No, almost got stuck. So as an officer, there's so much rules you have to follow. Now there's a lot. Oh, shoot. Okay. Kind of allowed to shoot. Put your hands up. Put your hands up. Get on the ground. Get on the ground. Now there's a lot of rules an officer have to follow, and they trying to follow all these rules in the game, which always make them fail, of course. Like you know, oh shoot, okay, like stuff like that. We got a driver that's just wilding out. Dispatch, can I get a unit? Now in real life, an officer will shoot this guy because he's using his vehicle, but we already know it's just a pet acting out. Put your hands up. I just got to get her out the vehicle. I'm not really going to arrest her. Ah, oh, come on. Don't tell me she's about if she does the same thing. I'm arresting her. Don't shoot her. Don't shoot. Don't shoot. Okay, there you go. You see she cooperate now. That's what you got to do to these pets. 
Muggy? Somebody just stole somebody else's cell phone. Yo, this this is some pretty cool calls. Oh, or at least some realistic calls. That's what I'm trying to say. <laughs> All right, we got a tow truck for the um for this truck. Partner, come on, man. My partner chilling over there. All right, there you go. All right, so we got a mugging. Oh shoot! All right, totally the opposite way. Best way to get there probably to go back over there. I see. Did they clear everything yet? This is something that an officer would never do, of course. But we gotta do certain things just to. I guess at the end of the day, just remember this is GTA though. This is GTA. We try our best to play realistic as we um especially when I'm playing by the books, guys. When I'm playing by the books, when I say following rules make me fail so many ways in this game. But it is a it is a See? Watch like going through it going through each intersection, you have to like literally stop like that, of course. All right, they probably know I'm coming. Impossible. Come on, come on. Okay, thank you. He wasn't gonna stop. Is that them over there? Oh shoot, yo, this dude really got him at gunpoint for a cell phone though. All right, I gotta watch out for crossfire too because they all people just standing there. All right, so. We gotta. We definitely gotta get back up. I definitely don't want to get caught in a situation like that by myself. Whoa! There's another unit right there. Oh! You guys saw what just happened? So he saw somebody shooting, and he decided to open fire too. Oh, come on! Did he give up now? I think he gave up. Come on! Don't get that guy shot now. All right, suspect is down. Suspect is down. Is somebody else shooting at us? Oh, okay. That's what I thought. Let me get the gun. Hey, buddy, buddy, you good? Yeah, he got shot too. You got hit too, man. Come on, I'm gonna call paramedic for you. All right, paramedic should be here for you. All right, buddy. Just hold, <laughs> hold that wound over there. And we gotta get corner for this guy. And um. Responding code three. All right, the ambulance should be here in any minute from now. Coroner already made it. Good job, coroner. That's why I didn't give you guys that ticket last time. I know you guys got my back. What was that? Oh, that was a truck passing by. <laughs> but as far as the game, guys, it's um. I don't know when I, you know what this can never get old because they still haven't created a game good enough where you can be the police where you could just do whatever you want of oh, oh an open world game like that it, it, they haven't topped it off yet um I feel like a red dead is good but red dead still haven't topped off GTA 5 yet it's going to take some time and I'm I'm patiently waiting Rockstar will will get there I mean Rockstar been seeing all all of our input Any available unit in a Iris warrant. We still gotta wait. Partner, you wanna go for a warrant? <sighs> Why not, right? I'll take it. A photo suspect has been sent to your phone. Head to the last known location and search the area. Alright, buddy. Um paramedics should be here any minute from now. Oh, they're right there. Just wanna make sure you're alright, man. Talking about gunshot wounds, man. Um, working in a hospital show like show you so much, man. So much. I remember, um, cause I used to work in the ER. I used to work on the, on the main floor. Uh, I used to be more like the tech and all that stuff. You guys already know, man. When it comes to computer, hey, I'm your guy. But um, working on that floor and also working for patient transport, that was another um, part time that I used to have. For patient transport, where you have to transport um, the patient from, you know, from the ambulance to the ER and stuff like that. I've seen, I've seen a lot, man. Some of the crazy, especially gunshot wounds and um, people stabbing other people and stuff like that. Remember this, man. You know what? Talk, talk about story time. I don't even want to go into detail because some of these things that I've seen were crazy. <laughs> 
like trying to hold somebody. Man, it's it's too much. But anyway, let's head to that location and see if we're gonna be able to um, get this guy before they actually move from that location that um, they just gave us. Harris warrant. I'll take it. Most of the time they send SWAT for these calls though. But I feel like we got this. Thank you. Yo, the snow even look nice at night. There you go. That's the proper way to do it. Wow. Wait, where is this guy? Oh, by the beach. Okay. Like, no, certain time when you have a warrant, you have. I mean, some of these guys, I don't know how they they don't be like, they don't be like knowing like, especially when you hear a siren. Would you not be like worrying a, a little bit? At least running <laughs> somewhere. Like I know if I had a warrant, every time I hear a siren, I would jump. <laughs> every time I hear a siren, I would definitely jump, man. All right, we here. We're supposed to search the area. I saw somebody walking over there. Oh yeah, there you go. There you go. Hopefully he don't open fire on us. I think he does have a gun. Is that a gun on his hand or not? I don't think so. Oh yeah, that is a gun. That is a gun. We're gonna rush him though. We're gonna rush him and see if we can actually get him alive. Put your hands up, sir. Put your hands up. LSP, Drop that gun. Don't make me shoot you. If he turn around, man, I'm dead. All right, there you go. Up now, definitely, <laughs> definitely a high risk warrant <laughs> for sure. As crazy as it sounds, man, they still sell these guns, man. They still sell the uh, these type of weapons, and people still figuring out how to turn them into freaking automatic, which is crazy. On, all right, come on, buddy. That's all our rest for tonight, partner. We good. But as far as getting this game stable, guys, there's a bunch of things that you have to go through, especially traffic, traffic policer. You have to make sure you turn off everything, meaning um, traffic policer spawn so much stuff during your gameplay. So that's why some of you guys like I mean, some of you guys be asking me, yo, how can you last that long while playing? It's because there's a lot of yo partner. Can you get in? Well, man, hurry up. Uh, there's a lot of things that you have to disable or at least um, remove them for your game to um, to work properly. That's why I always um, for most of you guys that are new to LSPF, you have some you have to have some type of knowledge on how this game work or it's not going to be that stable for you. Should we really bring this guy to? No, there's a station right here, though. I'm going to go this way, but it's going to be right on top of us. What 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 is the closest one? Other than that one. Yeah, that's what I was thinking too. This one right over here. I think we could get through by just going up there. Alright, so we'll bring this guy back. But yeah, there's a bunch of stuff that you have to pay attention to, like traffic police or there's certain mods, um, other mods too that's um spawning things in traffic. Now, there's a couple traffic mods that I use, um, just so it won't spawn the same car over and over again. But you know, that's a glitch that we've been dealing with since um since GTA 4, of course, but it, I feel like it works so much better with GTA 5. Remember the taxi glitch that we used to have on GTA 4? Man, I, I feel like we've been through so much, man. But hey, the wait, I mean, we waited so long for something so stable and we got it. We got it. And I can't wait for the new release of LSBF 4, of course. It should be released soon. Hopefully, it could be for Christmas or January. I'll be okay with that, too. But it's just gonna make life so much easier where we don't have to um, get so much mods just to, um, get everything to work properly. We just depend on the whole LSBFR and yeah, I hope it, it should work. Cuts. What? I hope that. All right, come on, buddy. Have a nice night. I think we could handle one more call, guys. You see, I'm always having fun and I lost track of time because I said I was going to do a 20 minute, but I think we are almost up to <laughs> 30 minute already. All right, dispatch, show me available. Okay. Dispatch, I already know I'm available. 
And for the night shift, snow, the snow is so much better. I can actually see stuff now. Sometimes when you playing uh, for um when you playing night shift, um you can't see nothing. This is good. But anyway, dispatch, what you got for me? Citizens report an explosion. Vehicle on explosion. A Del Perro freeway. Oh, disregard. Okay. I was I guess I was too close, guys. I was way too close to the call. Cause they just told they just told me to disregard. Um forget about it. Forget about it. Dispatch. Anything else? Fighting in progress. Of course, the, all the bars are open. Everybody's drinking, so you guys already know what happened. All right, so this should be our last call for today. Hopefully, this thing is not gonna escalate. I can actually go back home to my family. Of course. Let's get over there quickly. Man. I mean, I know that's probably one of those things that an officer is thinking about. Yo, okay, I don't know what this call is gonna be about right now. I know you guys know the easy calls, of course. And sir, like this, this might be an easy one. But fighting, you never know, man. You never know. Might be weapons involved, knives. All right. Since I don't see no guns, should we let them fight? Finish the fight? See who get knocked out? Oh no, no, no! All right, put your hands up. Put your hands up. Both of y'all put your hands up. Get on the ground. Get on the ground right now, unless you want to get taste. And now on top. <laughs> okay, that that works. That works. I'm gonna go for the first arrest. <laughs> yeah, we got both of them. All right, stand right there, buddy. All right, come here. Any weapons on you, man? Yo, you better chill. You better wait. And some of you guys be saying like, "Why well, I don't curse like that?" I try, I try my best not to. I, I even, you know what? Every time I think about it, I have my little cousin watching. I have so much uh, little kids watching also. That's why we always trying our best to keep it, keep it PG thirteen. I know you guys would love to hear something like that too, but I'm sorry. <laughs> oh man. All right, let's make sure this guy don't have any weapons either. No, what, what? Why are you guys were fighting, man? You guys look like brothers. Don't tell me over a girl now. Trust me, you guys will make up by tomorrow morning. All right, Neil, right here for me too. All right, dispatch. Can I get? Uh, you know what? I'll take multi single transport. You guys probably had too much drink. You guys, you know what? I could let you guys, you know, handle it, but caught you guys fighting over here, so I, I can't really let y'all go, but y'all figure it out. All right, so that's why I'm gonna, I'm gonna make sure you guys ride in a single car. You guys should be good. Figure it out, and y'all y'all probably make up by tomorrow morning. All right. Yo, do you, none of these units can actually make it here. The other unit is stuck. All right, I don't even know if that's the unit for him. Okay. There you go. Good job. When you're having too much fun at SVFR, right? Just a regular day, though. You know what? We'll take this last car. I did say the last car was the last car, right? Come on, partner. Hurry up. Hurry up. Hurry up. Hurry up. Are they coming our way? I think they are coming our way. I think so. I'm just gonna pull him over. Who is he? Oh, is that Blister? I think over here. I'm gonna just hit a U-turn. I think it is him. At the end of the day, man, they give you a description of a vehicle. You have no idea who you're dealing with, what you're gonna be dealing with. So sometimes it's just it's just crazy, man. Okay, are they running? All right, they they just pull over. Um, let me get them to pull over a little bit more. Driver, keep driving. Pull over up there. All the way in. Stop right there. All right, guys. Let's get a plea check first. 
And you guys can can you guys believe I finally fixed my um police smart radio? <laughs> Target vehicle license plate. Carlos. 08 Young Ocean Nora 078 No 1099. Alright, so all we know so far, they ran a red light. Let me make sure I have the spotlight right on them. Uh vehicle a uh, vehicle occupied one time and we should be good. Partner, just um just right beside a suspect vehicle. Alright. No no, I didn't want to open that door like that, but it's whatever. Alright, let's approach the driver. Hey. Hello, how you doing, sir? Uh, what's going on, man? Why are you driving like that? Now, nah, do you know why I pull you over right now? All right, so you you just ran that red light. You ran a couple red light. That's why somebody just called 911 on you. Where's where's running red lights again? The license plate. Wait, am I? I'm probably passing it. That temporary blindness, you know, when you play in a game, sometimes you have that temporary blindness. You know what? Failure, failure to stop. Let's just go with that. Now, what happened? What is he gonna say? My house isn't far from here. I was just trying to get. Okay, they always say that. All right, let me get your license and proof hey, of insurance. We now we did smell either weed or something like that. Let's ask some. Have you used any drug recently, man? You just have low blood. <laughs> have you been drinking or anything like that, man? We got a call for a 207. I had some shot a couple the hours ago. Alright. Fucking know it. <laughs> Yo. My player, man. Alright, so since he wanna be like that, guys, um Everything did check that, right? So I'm just gonna get him to step out the vehicle. I just wanna make sure that he haven't been um, drinking or anything like that. So hey. let's start with um, sobriety test right here. All right. So what I'm going to need you to do, right? Just walk toward me since you say you only have one shot. What's going on? Walk back and we got something. Yep. Yep. Can belly walk. Of course, when you drinking like that, you know, you know, we gonna catch you, man. All right, come on, put your hands behind your back. We uh, we could do this the easy way or the hard way, man. That's when they not cooperating. Ah, uh, he's not cooperating. All right, we gonna do this the hard way. Put your hands up Police, and get on the ground. Stop whatever the hell you're doing. Unless you want to get tased, man. I know you don't want to get tased. All right, guys. Um, he's drunk, of course. Any weapons on you? Anything that can stab what me, poke me, anything fuck, like that? Dude? Forget about the red light. You ain't getting no tickets for that. But I'm definitely taking you off the street. All right, just like I said, guys, this is gonna be my last arrest. I feel like that was almost about a, about a book episode. This was a, this was a chill episode, right? You guys, let me know. This was definitely a chill episode where we didn't have to do that much. Um, dispatch, um, send me a unit. We're about to go off the sh off our shift right now. Let me just search the vehicle, making sure he didn't have anything else. <laughs> Look at all the design on the car. An idea: Can I pepper spray a bong, a grenade, a chainsaw? Damn! Whoa, this guy planning. All right, let's get a tow truck and we're going to have to be code four in a second. As soon as this unit make it to us, I got to use this crime fix soon too. All right, the tow truck made it before that unit. All right, come on, man. Ready, dude. There you go. Hey there. You moron. <laughs> All right, so guys, um, I hope you guys are having a great day. Of course, I hope you guys been enjoying this channel, been enjoying these episodes. Of course, um, another L we just finished another LSBFR episode. Make sure to, um, I mean, if you want to do this yourself, of course, you can actually get this um, at LSBFR.com. Of course, shout out to the G17 Media. But this is it for me, man. We just gonna call it a day. What the hell is that guy doing? Okay, no, I saw a guy running toward us. All right, yeah. 
code for guys. But anyway, thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. I'll catch you guys later. Peace.